guitars. Let's go build some junk. Lucky me, I just happen to have one piece of quarter inch MDF that's just big enough for two templates here. Now, what I'm going to try to do, I think, I'm going to cut half of the template out of this paper. Uh, so we can produce that curve over here uh, without cutting the body shape out or at least not all of it we may do some of it uh, a little later so I can match it up to template I'm not entirely sure yet but I wanna cut one of these out cut that curve uh, so we'll have a template for the curve. Okay, my plan here, the, the question mark I'm trying to decide on is, is where exactly to do this first one. Um, and I think I can do it on the end. I won't be able to get two templates out of this, but it may not be a big issue. Um, what I'm thinking about doing, we need to cut half of this out and put it in place on one of these so we can just cut that curve and I think I'm gonna put this over on the edge so we just get the curve but I want to get the curve and keep um, you know the placement of the template that doesn't make sense um, where did I put my template I want to like put this here uh, use our paper to to draw us a carve along with where the template is so we can get the template back in place if that makes any sense uh, clean up that curve and that will be our curve template then I can take another blank like this put that in place <sighs> offset in just a little bit and I'm thinking drill me some holes at a couple places outside of the template just run a flush trim bit along our curve template to cut the curve then marry those two together make sure that they actually do marry up and then cut the actual template out of that I think by doing it that way our curve will perfectly marry up and we'll have a template for the curve for both sides of the curve unless I you know failed miserably uh, in geometry more than I realized I did I think that'll work <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna try to do Just flip it over. Yeah, I know, but then I'll get confused and cut out the one I already drew on the other side. <laughs> this is just a feeble attempt to keep me from screwing up. Yeah, let's do that. I've never done this before. Okay. 
we have a line. I really think this will work. I, I, I'm anxious to see if it does. Shit. Okay. Shit! Alright, I'm gonna have to do this all over again because... Because we're templating this part, we need to shift the whole thing over this way so when we cut through, there's room left out here. I don't know how to explain that. Okay. Uh, I still don't know how exactly to explain it. Uh, but because this is the part of the template that uh, needs to stay and when we do our cut here the offset will be on this side. We needed to shift the, the template to this side so that we've got more room over here. <laughs> Crunch. That was brutal. Okay, I'm really bad at geometry. Fuck! For some reason I thought going at it this way we would skirt around that issue. I gotta think. Okay, raise your hand if you know what I did wrong. I knew what the problem was. For some reason, I thought if I did it this way, I could skirt around that, and I don't exactly know why. Because um, it just shows that I don't quite understand the geometry of what the hell is happening. Um, when you cut. Well, when you cut something, period, um, the curve changes the geometry. All right, so in the case of using a router template, this one we consider correct. The other one is not going to be. Uh, if, you're, if your blade was only, you know, uh, one-dimensional, then... Uh, well, if it was only offset in one dimension, then it would still work, but being offset in two dimensions, it, it doesn't. I still don't entirely understand the geometry because it seems like it should work, but it doesn't. Um, so I was trying to find the um, correct um, router bits to fix the problem. And I don't actually have that hardware. So I guess I'm gonna have to order some because this is not the only time I've wanted to do complementary curves, so I guess I'm gonna have to order some bits. Um, there's a there's a good video by uh, Stumpy Nubs on the subject. The problem is every video I can find they don't actually explain the math, so I, I don't know how to relate this to different size bits. Uh, what they did was did their their cut with a quarter inch bit, uh, and I don't have a quarter inch flush trim bit. Um, but then they used the quarter inch bit with a three quarter inch bearing, which I also don't have. <laughs> um, offset a quarter inch before. I'd, I'll put a link to the video um, by Stumpy Nubs so you can see because. There are probably a good number of you that are laughing, thinking, well, you should have known that, stupid ass. And there are probably a bunch of you going, well, what the hell's wrong with it? So, for everybody's benefit, I'll, uh, I'll put a link to his video so you can see. Because it is pretty interesting stuff, and it, it, it doesn't quite explain why, but it does explain how to get around the problem. 
Anyway, after failing to find the hardware I needed, um, I tried my best to sand to the line. And uh, for such a big piece, it's not a horrible match, but there are gaps. And gaps are no good. Of course, this is only in the top, so it's not like it would really structurally matter. But it's also in the top where it's super easy to see. So I want to, I want to get the hardware so I can do this right. Um, like I said, there, I'm sure there are going to be plenty of times I'm going to want to do a complementary curve or a negative template. I've wanted to do that for uh, like backplate um, things for a long time, and I just didn't have the the hardware to do it. Well, or a clue how. I don't quite have the hardware I need or the material I need for anything I planned on doing today. So, uh, today was a bust, but, but I did learn and know what I need to do what I want to do. So, I'm going to see if I can find some bits that will do the trick. And we can do some playing and see if we can make that work. And once we do, then I can build templates. Well, build our, our two templates for our top. And after doing some checking, I found out the Japanese government is not allowing tourists to come in at all right now. So uh, now is about the time I would need to try to book some tickets if I was going to make it for Christmas. And... Uh, so I'm guessing I'm not going to get to go see my kid this Christmas. Which means if I get to see him next summer, it will have been a year and a half since the last time I saw him. Which really sucks. But, um, what can you do? So, I got time to get this guitar put together. And I, I want to take my time and make it the, the the most precisely put together beautiful thing I've ever made so and I guess that leaves me some time to save up money for good hardware and some things like that so not much of a silver lining for a really big dark cloud but again what can you do so I hate to have a video with just a big fat failure and no resolution, <laughs> but I got to order hardware. So next week, maybe we'll we'll you know have a more positive message or at least a solution or you know make some progress. I guess we made a little bit of progress. We did pick a shape. Uh, we did. Um, get that drawn. Uh, from that, I could go ahead and start doing an actual full-scale drawing. Anyway, check with me next week and hopefully we can uh, make some more progress, some better progress. Thanks for joining me. If you like what we're doing, if you're digging it, like and subscribe. Catch you next time. Right.